Hi everybody, this is Cindy Gunter Baldo, and in honor of the holiday season, I am going to be doing a series, a three-part series of holiday doodling. So I've got three sets of holiday doodles, and I'm, each day I'm going to do one like little category of doodle. I want to make these videos short and sweet and to the point, so we'll get right started. So this first video that we're going to do is probably one of my favorites and it is snowmen. So I'm going to be showing you a few different things to do with snowmen and I am okay so the basic snowman generally when I start with a snowman I want to start with the the carrot for the nose because oftentimes it'll usually I'm going to zoom in a little bit here There we go. Okay, oftentimes the carrot for the nose um, sticks out past the line, and this is just doodling with a pen. I'm not bringing any pencils out or anything. It's a flare marker. So you draw the carrot, and then just draw a circle around it for the fa like the head part of the snowman, and then I just add another like circle, just stopping there, and then I do another. And a lot of the times, if you'll notice, I'll get kind of squatter with my bottom circle. I don't always. It just depends. Like this is just a doodle but as it's going down. So for the general snowman, I just add some arms, thinking about the direction the snowman is tilted. I'll have one arm kind of come off right here, and then the other one looks like it's coming from behind the snowman. That's just a little perspective for you. Then I'll add some, some buttons made out of coal, and then some eyeballs. a smiley mouth and I mean you can add some like like details to the carrot if you want to but that's just a general snowman let's say you want to doodle a snowman but this time you want to give him a scarf generally speaking when I do a scarf for a snowman I start with the scarf because again if you're doodling with a pen and you're not adding a pencil into it and that's what I'm trying to show you here you want to draw the thing that's going to be in the foreground the most so then I'll just add the circle coming out of the top of it, maybe covering up his face a little bit. I didn't leave myself a lot of room for a carrot, so I'm just going to do a little stumpy carrot. Nobody cares. And because I've got the like scarf coming up like a muffler, I'm going to kind of maybe kind of make it look like so that the mouth is kind of covered up. And then I'm going to draw the bottom part of the body. And then I'm going to do another bottom part of the body. Sorry, my snowman's kind of lumpy, but whatever. And then I might draw the little part of the scarf hanging down. This you can just sort of, whoops, well, whatever. See, as you see, I, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I generally just add some tassels or something to the end of it to make it look more interesting. You can add stripes to it. You can add polka dots to it, however you want to do it. And then, once again, add a couple of arms. I'll have this guy be kind of waving at you. Holla! And there's a snowman with a scarf. So then, I am going to draw a snowman with a top hat. Okay, so, to do the top hat, draw your circle head, but don't do the top part of the circle. Make that kind of flattened. Okay, and then, to do the hat, do a curved line over where the head is stuck and then kind of wrap it around to the back. Then you can maybe even extend this line a little bit here. So it looks like the hat is going like on top of the head of the snowman. And then you just add a couple of curved lines to create the top hat. And if you want to add another curved line going with the curve of the top of the hat to make a ribbon. Once again, didn't leave a lot of room for my carrot, but whatever. Notice I'm leaving kind of some white. In the worksheets I'm going to upload, I didn't, and I thought it looked super creepy, so um, I'm adding the light from now on. And then you draw your the rest of your snowman. And if you want to, I didn't do this in the worksheet either. Hey, look, he's got a tie now. Woohoo! 
Ty snowman. Okay. So there's that snowman. Just some ideas. You can take these ideas and mix them all up. Then a final idea for you is take your draw the head again, but maybe kind of flatten the top a little bit. And this time, kind of do some squiggly lines. And if you go up and then down like this, and then up, and then bring it down again. Now he's got a Santa hat. Notice I'm like not at all doing like fancy detail on this because um, I'm going to add a scarf to Santa too. And then this one I'm going to do just a single big ball for the body. And we'll do some polka dots and a scarf. That way you can see kind of what it looks like with just a single big ball for the body. Anyway, so that's some ideas for making a snowman. If you go to llamasloveLettering.com, you'll be able to find a worksheet where I drew some of these ideas out for you to be able to use to practice with. Thanks for watching. Find me on Instagram at, at llama letters. Tag your, your drawings, Llamas Love Lettering, so I can see. I'd love to see what you do in your planner. Join me tomorrow for a second doodling video where we are going to be talking about Christmas trees and also Christmas gifts. Anyhow, thanks again and I'll see you next time.